hope I don't run out of storage. So I'm popping in here post editing to say welcome to another plan with me this week. We are planning for the week of, I don't want to show you it because that would spoil it. Um, also, this is my monthly spread. This came out so bad. Don't judge me. But the plan with me you're about to watch is for the 16th through the 22nd, which is my birthday week. So without further ado, uh, here you go. Today is Sunday, the 22nd, which is my birthday. Hello. Hi. Amazing. I'm 20. That's gross. I feel old. I feel dusty. This was the plan with me that I did last week. I absolutely love it. This is the best one I've done so far. I just love this spread so much. It came together so perfectly. I definitely think I know what my planning style is. White space with icons. It's beautiful. And as you can see, I'm pulling in these like hot pink wiggles that I got from like an SVC D stash. I love these. I'm a huge fan of that moment. So here's the kit. I chose this because it's a pink birthday kit and it made a lot of sense that this is what I use. I don't know. It just made the most sense. Someday I'm gonna start whiting out the like stuff but that day is not today because I just don't care enough. Like you can kind of see it but uh, like I just said I don't care. It doesn't affect anything. You know, my favorite thing has easily become um, putting down the base. I'm gonna use the, what, I think this is 15 millimeter heart pink overlays from SPC. I wish I could just own all of the wiggles in the world. I do plan on ordering silver and gold soon like maybe next month or in february that, that's probably best probably in february i just love having them to pull into kits they're so dope i feel like they add so much to a spread i'm just a foil i love a good foil moment We've made it successfully through the setup. Um, I ended up lifting this up because I was wrong. Whatever I was saying about <laughs> not putting it on the bottom green bar. Oh, I missed one. That wasn't true. <laughs> so I moved it up. But this is like the first time I've not had to completely replace every single piece of washi. Um... Okay, I think some of these are not cut right. <laughs> or I'm just putting them all crooked. I don't know. But I did not have to put, or I didn't have to fix every single piece of washi. Turns out you have to center them in the middle of like this green bar. You don't just like go on one edge. Don't know why that was so hard for me to figure out. So I have um, hot pink. Um, header overlays. I don't know. I don't know which one I want to do it on. I'll put these on the hot pink ones. That makes logistically the most sense. But also, when ever have I cared about logic? I don't know. I used to love doing logic puzzles as a child, okay? Those were fun. Not that that has much to do with anything. So, today's the day that I turned 20, which means I've been alive for two decades. 
I also think it's monumental because hello, the year itself, right? We are actually like leaving a decade. And I've, I don't know. I just like that I get to age with the, that I get to age with time. Does that make sense? Probably not a whole lot of it. Whatever I was talking about, ignore that. It doesn't matter. Let's move on to the dashboard. Okay, I love, or the sidebar, not the dashboard. OMG, I just remembered. Ew, I can't believe I said OMG, like. <laughs> so I figured it out. These are double boxes. That being said, this <clears throat> looks like a quadruple box. Double boxes should only be two. So that's actually still not helpful. Like that literally takes up four days. Are you kidding me? Who would, ooh, look at that. That was not good. But do you see how ungodly that is? That's literally four whole boxes. Like dog, what's going on? Do people actually use these? That's not cool. It's not cool and I hate it. Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, I love doing my sidebar. Before I moved to bullet journaling, I had a planner and I would use it much in the same way. I would decorate it, but I love to just write highlights of every single day down. So that's what I've been implementing with this by bringing in the weekly like checkbox thing. It's just nice to be able to write like one really good thing that happens so that way you can flip through your week every single like week and just see all the good happy things that, that you did. It's a fun little quick easy sickening recap of your life because your life can be whittled down into little week snapshots if that makes you feel bad. I'm sorry. I don't know, I just like being able to just like take that quick look back on everything. Ooh, I get distracted so easy, but I forgot I had these. These are hot pink foil box overlays. You already know I'm about to be overlaying some full boxes, dog. You do not have to tell me twice. Dude, I need more, more foil in my life. It would be a better world if Dominique had unlimited foil access if you agree which you should let me know if you disagree you're wrong and keep it to yourself i also do a week tracker because you know you gotta keep your, your weekly checklist in line i just like to keep track of when i post on my instagram for my etsy shop because it's not something i'm holy shit it's not something i'm super good about at all if you follow my shop instagram i feel like this lighting is a little bit bad but anyways oh i get so distracted so easy i'm not super good about keeping track of my shop instagram posts so that's what that functions as to just like keep track of it but mostly so i can visualize hey guess what you still suck at this but we have a hot pink foiled instagram icon let's put that did i do that last week no no but let's put it on there and then i also like to put an appointment label which we have two of i can put those down damn this whole sidebar is pink Pink is my favorite color though. So I like to put that down and I like to mark how much money I make every week from Etsy because with Etsy you get, or you can get your money however you want on Etsy, but I get it every week. So this would be the income for last week. That's how it works, obviously. Pretty simple and easy to understand. Should we do a blue? I don't know what we should do to close out this, but that's pretty much all I track on my sidebar. There's nothing ever fancy going on over there. Um, and if there was something fancy, I would let you know. I love these Cinderella paper kits for the simple, pure fact that they come with working class labels. 
I love those. Granted, I'm not in class anymore. Um, my finals all were done last week. Thank God. Tired of that. I was watching a video and someone said they don't like blue and pink together because it's baby colors, like baby shower, which is valid. However, I happen to not care, um, like at all. I think those colors look so good together. They make me so happy. I just love like light pastels. I love pink. Pink and blue are meant to go together. They were literally created for that very reason. That's true facts. You can look it up in any history book. That is true. I didn't make it up. It's a real thing. Let's do something I don't do ever, ever. And in fact, I hate this thing. Whoa, squeaky chair moment. Let's put down some checklists, some heart checklists. Ah, oh, my chair is so squeaky. I hate heart checklists with a burning, fiery passion. Okay, this isn't new. We know this. We are aware that I hate these. So on Friday, fuck. I literally hate heart checklists. They're the ugliest thing in the world okay on friday i just need three so we'll use a a checklist banner thing but i do want to use the to-do headers i never use to-do headers is it too redundant to do a header and a glitter header yeah it is quite frankly it is it's a little disturbing We'll just do it at the, at the bottom of this day. Dope. Okay. On Tuesday, I need a big one. So we'll just do a full box. Oh, it doesn't look great without having to do on top. Okay, I'm going to cut the bottom one off because it turns out I don't need it. Eh. I need another one. Oh, on today I need one. That's what I need one for. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. Okay, so on the glorious good old Monday, so last week my mom went to Vegas on Thursday and on Monday she came back. So I finished cleaning the house, which means I did laundry. No, I didn't, I did the dishes. So we're just gonna put down a little scrubby because hi, hello, dishes. I have not done dishes since I was little. That's the best thing about being um, the oldest of however many siblings I have. You don't have to do the dishes. Dishes are gross. I hate dishes. Okay? Let's just let that be known. So I did the freaking dishes. And then I packed orders, per usual. Um, that's just kind of a staple of the things Dominique does on Mondays. Love packing orders. It's one of the best parts about owning an Etsy shop. Why lie? I literally... Mm love it probably went to work at some point on that day where are my work headers here they are i finished making wait what was i saying dog i have no idea i can't remember anything i am confused no idea oh i love packing orders it's my favorite freaking thing to do are you kidding me are you effing kidding me it's just so relaxing and calm to sit there and just uh, write people little notes. It's so fun. I love it so much. If you've ever watched one of my Etsy vlogs, hello. I pack orders in those all the time. Um, so yes. This little wax melt sticker is to mark that I... The candle embeds for 
a candle in the Goonies box. Then I went to the post office. I guess we can do it right there. And then I planned restocks. And then I had dinner with Sophia and Hannah. We went to, we went to Denny's, I think. Not I think, we did. It's a very simple thing to know. We went to Denny's, you know? It was quite fun. I love spending time with those two people, even though they are so stupid. Uh, just kidding, they're not actually stupid. But I do greatly enjoy every single time we are together. We are probably the most annoying people in the establishment when we, when, in whatever establishment we are in when we are together. Um, that's just life. It's so fun. It was also free pie night, okay? So, what do you gotta say about that? Nothing. Um, I also finished, okay, I guess we're on Tuesday now, aren't we? Yes, so I finished my, well, so I had two finals due, and I did them, okay? I got an A on one. The other one is still not graded. Oh, F, I went to work? Ooh, that's true. My paycheck is going to be bigger because I went to work extra during this day because I don't have class anymore. So I was like, yes, I can come in, even though I didn't want to. Um, I'm going to put down this little pig, oink, oink, little moment sticker for us because hello. Um, I don't know why I said hello. Okay, I'm actually going to... This might be bad. I'm gonna take these stickers off of this box. Oh shit. So much is going on. So much is going on. Anyways, while I'm trying to fix this, let's talk about being 20. No, let's talk about being 19. I, I've been 19. I don't know what it's like to be 20. But being 19, or I guess it's not really being 19 as a blanket statement, it's more like what being 19 was like for me. I had a great year, okay? Let's just get that out of the way. It was an excellent year for the economy. No, just kidding. I don't know about the economy. Don't come in my comments with, like, Trump supporter stuff because I don't have the time and I don't care, okay? I don't care. Ugh, fine. Fine, that's the best that I can do. And sometimes that just has to be enough. I started my Etsy vlog on Tuesday. I like how I can't just like stay on topic of what I'm trying to say. So I had two finals due. I also budgeted, which is gonna take up a lot more room than I wanted to. But two finals, my friend Nathaniel came over, who's like one of my bestest friends. I've known him for, I don't know how many years, not good at math, but for a long time, since eighth grade. And I'm what, in 13th grade? No, 14th grade? <laughs> not a real thing. In my sophomore year of college is what I'm in. But 14th grade is close enough to that that I think I might just tell people that I'm in 14th grade. And they're going to be like, hmm, so you're just a little bit strange. Not going to lie, I'm really into this cutting the washi down. What am I talking about? No idea. Let's go back to being 19. Being 19 was so fun. I think all of the best things in my life happened this year yeah what the f i just had so much fun i didn't care I, well i cared right like i cared about things but i just didn't care about like shit that doesn't matter dog it was tight i i was vibing i think no i hate that word i was not vibing i started using it ironically but it quickly has become like a thing I can't stop saying and I'm not happy about it at all it makes me sick to know that I'm someone who 
now says that they're vibing. Like, dog, get a grip, okay? Get a grip. Who are you? I don't want to know you. Why do you keep saying you're vibing? You're not vibing, you weirdo. You are not vibing. You are crazy. Yep, that seems about right. Um. What the F? I don't think this book icon, I want to put this book icon because my class, or not my class, what? <laughs> my textbooks for my classes were due to return, like my rentals. Um, and so I returned them on Wednesday. But a bitch can't use the sticker if it's not cut. Anyways, being 19 was so cool. I had so much fun this year. I don't know if it's so much about being 19 as it is just like good things happened while I was 19, you know? But I think it's a it's like the only way I can mark it. Like 19 was the best, alright? So freaking fun. I'm gonna use this big quarter box to just mark that I return my textbooks. No reason other than I want to. Of course I packed orders and I cleaned my room on Wednesday. Of course I went to work. Great. Fun. Awesome. Love work. I love my job. Totally, 100% love my job. I'm not being facetious. I genuinely love my job. Yeah, no, I'm straight up lying. I hate my job, but I don't hate it, hate it. I just don't enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> then I went to the post office after work to drop off more packages. Hello, gotta stay doing that. Um, yeah, like I think I've said this before, but I try and, you know, get packages out as early, quick as possible. So Monday and Wednesday I go to the post office because I tend to just like weekend orders go out on Monday and I always tend to get orders on Tuesdays that I can manage or excuse going back to the post office and sometimes I will go on Thursdays if I have like two day shipping orders that can go out but I also made the Goonie candle which is why I'm using this cute star because I was so excited I don't like this mail that guy not what? I'm just gonna put down this glitter icon here, or this glitter header, for no reason. I just want to, so, sue me. I'm gonna mark that I'm, okay, so I'm using this cute star icon to mark that... I made the Goonies candle for the Goonies movie box, right? I love that candle. It came out so good, right? I don't know why I'm saying right like you know. I'm just telling you. It came out really good. I'm happy. I love it. It's cute. Okay? So freaking cute. Then, you know, Thursday morning, <laughs> I was laying in bed. I got woken up by a pain in my own body. I was like, uh what's going on why do i feel like this something doesn't feel right lo and behold i was correct <laughs> i got sick dog like sick you know like i was throwing up it was not cute it was not even fun all right it was far from fun in fact i hate being sick to be fair i don't know anybody who likes being sick but mm, not cool so I got sick, so I'm gonna put down this I'd Rather Die um, Munchkin from the SPC Once More with Love little Black Friday collab. I love those icons so much. In um, January, I've decided I'm gonna just go all out and buy a bunch of Munchkins because I think they're so cute, okay? And I think they add so much to a spread. I don't use any on this side, but this spread is coming out so cute. But in last week's spread, I just think, like, they're so cute to have, and I love them. So I'm going to just buy a bunch, because, hey, why not? It's my life. Who's going to stop me? Nobody. So I filmed a plan with me, my Grinch plan with me, the one that you just, you know, saw. 
So I'm gonna put down this heart header, but I'm gonna cover up the heart with this sweet Ava's paper. Oh no, cannot have two icons next to each other. That is not the vibe. Ooh, perfect. That's actually so cute. Oh my gosh. Good job. Zoom you in. Do a little zoomy zoom. Oh, okay. So sorry I said that. What the F? That was actually vile. That was beyond vile. Oh, that was a crime, okay? That was a crime against humanity. Ugh, I made myself sick. It was payday, okay? That's the most important thing. That's the most important takeaway from anything I'm doing right now. I want to use some sort of box, but I don't think any of them are going to fit right there. Like a true 40-year-old woman, I do the Dave Ramsey cash envelope system. Even if I don't get all of my envelopes out in cash, I just don't use my card or whatever, and I budget. Oh my god, that sticker is not coming up. I'll just use this random block of color to mark that it was payday and I did my cash envelopes like I was saying 40 year old woman I do my cash envelopes you know you just have to do it okay you don't get a choice I love doing cash envelopes I, I just also like I just love counting money I love feeling it and putting it into envelopes it's so satisfying yeah even though I was sick and I felt like actual crap and I literally wanted to die I decided why not run a bunch of errands Woo! um so I cleaned out my car when me and Hannah went to Bonnaroo we had some like Hawaiian rolls and that was cool but we didn't eat them and we didn't think about them at all until <sighs> until it was like you know august maybe september and i found them and they had like black mold okay it was literally disgusting like dude get your whole life together what are you doing so that was that i probably should have just rested on thursday i feel like i'm not doing a good job of explaining my week right now i feel like i'm all over the place we'll see if this ends up being a voiceover you know why i usually work on thursdays but since i was sick i couldn't but instead of really like just resting resting i was like time to just get things done so i did a bunch of little errands but then i felt so freaking tired on friday it was not good and then i had to go to work at 2 30. i was so so freaking tired like it was insane um but i stayed up until one in the morning to wish hannah miss nasty hannah who i talk about all the time okay i stayed up till one to wish her happy birthday um because we're a day apart hello it's kind of chaotic if you think about it if you really think about it it's probably a crime against humanity that the two of us were born in such close proximity but basically i planned out well it's kind of a secret what i was planning out it's for my etsy and it has to do with the like the rep team that I have and something we're doing that we are working on. We started um, having discussions. I started planning for it. We're excited. I'm excited at least. So I did a face mask, I think. I think I did. But like, I'm not 100% sure. I'd like to believe that was the day I did a face mask. So I'm gonna use this um, hot gold. I want to call it hot I want to call it hot gold but it's just hot pink okay it's just because it's foiled everything that's foiled immediately turns to gold to me so I'm gonna use that to mark like self-care lazy day yeah, 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 yeah. oh but it was Hannah's birthday so good for her um she's 19 now Ooh. I don't know what that noise was. Then I went shopping. I got Christmas gifts. 
You're telling me in all of the stickers I have, I don't have one little damn gift. I'm, I don't want to use any more of these. I don't have any regular gift icons. Are you effing kidding me? <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting like pressed about this right now, but I'm, it is stressing me out. Okay, I'll just leave that space to write a little something about Miss Hannah Hadley because that is my ride or die, my homie, my biscuit, uh, all that, you know? I'm gonna mark with this that I went gift shopping. Ow, ow. Oh, happy birthday. Look, I found this happy birthday banner. <laughs> I don't know why that's making me excited. Okay, anyways, back to being 19. All of the good things that happened this year, I went to Bonnaroo, which is like the best place a person could possibly be. It's like my new favorite thing to talk about, to dream about, to um, wait for. They are dropping hints left and right about the lineup this year. Um, still Woozy's gonna be there, which is the first one they've like announced or hinted at that I actually know. And I'm so excited. I love Still Woozy. They're super good. Um, listen to Goodie Bag. Oh, frick. Yeah. They're also this, um, group called Pine Grove, I think, is playing. And I'm actually super excited to see them as well because, hi, Miss Ma'am, they are so, I just love them. They have the most emo vibes of my life, but they're just good. I love them. I'm so excited for Bonnaroo. Um, so I bought gifts. I went to Target, bought my mom's Christmas gift and my two littlest sisters, and then... I went to the movies with my friend Nathaniel, who I mentioned earlier, I think. We went and saw the new uh, little Star Wars movie. I don't think I have any like super deep intellectual thoughts. I really enjoyed it. It was super enjoyable. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it was very fun. I actually loved it. The more I think about it, the happier I get. I was super excited to go see it. It was, it was just a fun movie, all right? So like, F off. I know that we wanna hate Star Wars. We're not cool with them, like whatever. Sure, sure J.J. Abrams did not need to be coming in there and effing everything up, all right? He didn't F everything up. But also, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Ben Solo for a minute. We had Ben Solo for like two minutes. We had our man, Ben Solo, for two minutes tops. And then what happened? I'm not gonna tell you what happened, but think about it. I can't believe Adam Driver is like a part of that like history, that Star Wars history. That's kind of dope. You could, you can't lie. It's badass, okay? Um, like he's literally a part of like the, one of the most iconic, influential, pop culture uh things ever like that's amazing i'm so happy for him he's such a talented actor i hope in the upcoming oscars he wins for his various roles that he's been in this year he really was eating it up this year it's adam driver's world and we're all just living in it as it should be okay but anyway so that's that's my little thoughts even though those had that had very little to do with the movie i am i'm pressed about the whole finn poe situation but we don't need to go into that we can avoid this is the damn sheet i was looking for are you kidding me okay anyways it's fine it's fine it's okay on to today what I just laid down was this little munchkin. It was also from the SDC once more with Love Collab. She's holding like this monkey, but I thought it would be fitting because I've recently fallen into a Furby, um, how do I say it? A Furby wormhole. I am obsessed with Furbies. I just want a Furby. I think they are the cutest freaking thing in the 
whole world, okay? They are so effing cute. I love them. I literally love them. Um, I found this one Furby. It's a it's a kid cuisine Furby. 500 were made. So it's uh, rare. <laughs> and it's $250. And it's taking so much will and perseverance not for me to buy it. For me not to buy it. Ugh. It's kind of crazy. This is for what I'm doing right now. Filming this. Let's just use this to mark. It's my birthday. This is from Happy Plan. Okay, my camera cut off. Hello, sorry. This is the finished spread, right? So, whatever I last said, I don't know. I think I was laying down this birthday sticker. And I finished out that day, Sunday, and the whole spread by putting in a three heart checklist and writing what I did. This is the finished spread. I think it came out so super cute with all that freaking foil. And I just think the colors look really good. Writing, we had a little bit of a mistake right there, but you know, we fixed it. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with the lettering that I was, you know, doing throughout. I think this came out really well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.